Ever been a little confused by someone? You've noticed them and maybe thought the eye contact was a little longer than usual, but nah, maybe they were spacing out. Hmm. They've been pretty nice to you lately, but it could also be because you let them have the last donut in the lunchroom last week. Who knows? You want to know. Maybe they are that into you, or maybe you're making something out of nothing. We don't want to jump the gun and freak someone out, right? Fortunately. Although people can have a poker face, they don't have poker body. So to see if there's a good chance someone is into you, look out for signs like, number one, they open up to you. Sure, you talk with them, but when it happens, are you finding that they open up to you, talking about real and personal things, or maybe even asking for advice? If so, that's a sign of trust, which is a pretty healthy part of the recipe to liking someone. You'd never open up a vulnerability to someone you dislike after all. Yes, we know that trust is also a part of being friends, but remember that being a good friend is also one of the foundations of a strong, healthy, romantic relationship. So you might simply have a good friend, but opening up to someone could also make you fall in love with the person. Either way, it's pretty sweet to know you're trusted. Number two, they don't mention or converse about other people in their lives. Do you find that when you're having a conversation with this person, the only protagonist in the story is either themselves or you? Maybe you've even tried to ask them if they're seeing someone and they just veer right off the topic. Although you could suspect that they have some sort of talk show level secret in their love lives, a more likely reason is their feelings for you. This exclusion of others in conversation is keeping themselves in your focus and as available to you. They might even throw in some mild self-depreciating comments like, I guess it's a solo Valentine for me this year. You could even gauge their reaction by responding with something like, is that a hint? Or is that a good thing? If you're interested, offer to fix the situation. Number three, they clean up real nice around you. If you know someone whose everyday uniform is a gray or black hoodie and jeans, but when they meet up with you, they're always wearing nice clothes you've never seen before, or they mention their achievements to you, Despite this not being part of their usual conversation type, basically, does it seem sometimes like they're showcasing their stuff to have you look at them? It could very well be that they're doing it to prove their great partner material. It could also just mean they have serious insecurity issues, but then they'd be more likely to be boastful in general, not presenting to you specifically, like a peacock mating dance. Number four, they often compliment you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get all worked out because someone said you had a nice shirt the other day. This is a repeated and frequent behavior, but subtle. The person is trying to hide their crush on you, so it's not going to be as straightforward as you're breathtaking and I want to be with you. They'll sneak it in either consciously or unconsciously, but it'll happen fairly often and often from the side. They might ask you, new shirt? And then follow it up with, yeah, looks good. Then when your friends want a suggestion for eats, they'll pipe up to volunteer your expertise since you have such great taste. Of course, this person could just be complimentary in general. So observe if you're either the only one being complimented or if the niceties fall heavily in your favor. Number five, they participate in your social media. Checking on social media alone is just everyday life now. It's not unusual to follow everyone on everything. What is unusual and could well be a sign of something more is how much attention they pay to your social media. And you can tell by their participation in it, the likes and comments. This is even more apparent if you know they almost never comment anywhere else, or if they faithfully comment and react to everything you post and only giving a random thumbs up to other people. This could mean they spend their free time scrolling through your feed, wishing they were with you in whatever stories that feed tells. If you get a notification saying they liked your pick from 36 weeks ago, you know what's up. And they're probably mortified because they think you now think they're creepy. Be nice, it happens. And number six, others tell you they might like you. Emotions serve their purpose, but boy, do they ever make things confusing. This is where you use your lifeline, also known as your friends. Others, because they aren't mired in the soup of feelings, can usually see more clearly and objectively. This is especially true if you and the person in question hang out together in a group, because then they can observe changes to how this person acts around you versus when you're absent. 
Also, they have a better chance at hearing if they ask about you or talk about you. They can then give you a verdict, unclouded by personal goals. Life is complex, humans are too. So even though the signs mentioned could indicate beyond platonic affection, this list isn't a checklist for certainty. They just have a higher probability towards maybe something more. So you can know if you have a solid reason to investigate further. Remember at the end of the day that affection, bonding, and love are all positives, regardless of whether this person likes you like that or simply likes you and wants to be a closer friend. It's a good thing. You can always share the love with us. Feel free to tell us how much you like us in the comments and confirm it with the like button. <laughs> See you soon.